Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Kathleen and I'm here today with my July reading wrap up. And it is on time! <laughs> I read three books this month and I had a strong start to the month, but then it went downhill. The next book that I read was almost a DNF and the third book that I read was a DNF. But like I said, I started the month off strong and that was with Sadie by Courtney Summers. This book was immediately gripping. I was immediately invested. I cared about the characters right away. At first I didn't love the chapters that were from Sadie's perspective, but her sp perspective did grow on me. It was just so good. It's a thriller in which Sadie, our main character, is trying to avenge her sister and now she herself has also gone missing. And it's told kind of in alternating chapters and so half of the book is told in the form of a podcast and then half of the book is from Sadie's perspective. It handles some very heavy topics and I think it does a pretty good job at that. And at the end the way things were connected and how things were revealed was done really well. A lot of the stuff that happens in the book is kind of implied and not shown, which I liked but is probably not everyone's cup of tea. There's a bit of mystery to it and not everything is wrapped up and you don't get to know exactly what happened at the end of the book. So if you don't like open-ended endings like that, you might not enjoy Sadie. But I'm not a th huge like thriller mystery reader. My thriller mystery slash scary books shelf only has like 10 or 12 books on it and of those, the only ones that are rated above three stars before Sadie were Mystic River and The Green Mile. So it's really not super my genre, but I did really enjoy Sadie. I rated it four stars. But then from there, it went downhill. <laughs> the next book that I read in July was Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz, which this one I was excited for because it's Hamilton, but I did also go into it aware that just straight on romances are not really my thing either. So I was cautious and I was proven right in that I was very bored by it, which tends to be my problem with books that are just romance, <laughs> which this one did heavily focus on the romance between Alex and Eliza. It's kind of a, a YA retelling of the story of Alexander Hamilton and Eliza Schuyler. I didn't enjoy Alex and Eliza's back and forth kind of antagonistic relationship at the beginning, but mostly I was just bored by the book. I don't think it was particularly well written, like I think the writing was pretty meh and the story was boring. <laughs> so yeah, not much to say about this one. I did power through it and finish it, but I am unhauling it right away, which is a sure sign that I really didn't enjoy a book. And so yeah, a disappointing read on this one. And then finally, the third book that I read this month I DNF'd and that was Cry the Beloved Country by Alan Patton. I got this one from the Bibliophilic Excursions box quite a while ago. This is a box that sends you books from other countries with trinkets and things. And this month's box was South Africa. So you get a fiction and a nonfiction book in each, each box. So for the nonfiction book, I got Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, which I loved. Cry in the Beloved Country, I did not love. It had some very beautiful lyrical prose in it, but I just couldn't get into it. Once again, I was bored. <laughs> so this one I got halfway through before I DNF'd. And maybe I wouldn't have DNF'd if I hadn't just read Alex and Eliza. Plus I was really busy the week that I was reading it and was just focused on other things. But I think either way I would not have really enjoyed the story that much. But unlike Alex and Eliza, I do think this one was well written. Like I said, it had some beautiful lines in it. Just the story itself I just wasn't clicking with. So yeah, kind of a short reading month for me. It started out real strong with Sadie, but then the rest of the month was pretty meh reading for me. <laughs> Let me know down below what you read in July. I hope you enjoyed watching. Now on to the quote for today's video, which today I have one from the Disney sitcom Boy Meets World and it is said by Mr. Feeney and it goes, friendship for example is a real gift. It's given with no expectations and no gratitude is needed. 
not between real friends. Thanks for watching. Remember, words matter.